The Istio architecture which we are going to cover in this particular video is from Istio 1.5 version. In the recent times, the architecture of Istio has been changed a lot. At this point in time, I am going to cover the architecture of Istio 1.5 and that's what we are going to see in this particular video. If you ask me, will it change in the future? I am not sure. But this is the current architecture of Istio. I have been reading about Istio in the last few weeks. In this particular video, I will try to explain the whole Istio architecture with different components inside Istio. If you like reading, then definitely head to the Istio documentation and read about their deployment architecture. I am going to cover the same with an evolutionary diagram in this particular video. Let's start everything from scratch. Imagine I have an empty Kubernetes cluster which already has some nodes where I have my master and I have my worker nodes running. I don't have any applications deployed right now. Imagine I am deploying an application. So this app is nothing but a container which is a Docker container and imagine the box, the blue box is nothing but a pod. So inside a pod I have one particular container. For the sake of the discussion, let's have two different applications. These two are like, let's say, front end application and the back end application. So the first one in the left side is the front end, and the second one is the back end. In order to understand the Istio architecture, we need to understand a little bit about Envoy. So, Envoy can be deployed as a sidecar container inside our existing application pod. Imagine my front end application is running, I can have an Envoy proxy which can be running along with my application, but it will run as a sidecar. Envoy is a C++ based proxy, which can be deployed along with your application. We will look at how that is going to help Istio in a bit, but understand that we need to have some sidecar containers within our application with which Istio will talk to. That way we don't have to interact with the Istio components directly. Instead, the Envoy sidecar will do that for us. This kind of a pattern where we have an application running and we have a sidecar container is called a sidecar pattern. Since this is just adjacent to our application, it's called sidecar. The next major component inside Istio is pilot. Pilot is the orchestrator on what needs to be done inside the application. So pilot instructs Envoy on what needs to be done based on the configuration provided by Galay. Galay is another component inside Istio which maintains the configuration. So the configuration details of Istio might not be directly understandable by Envoy because Envoy was a product created by the company called Lyft. Lyft is a competitor for Uber. They created a sidecar container, which is just Envoy. So you can deploy Envoy into on-prem based systems as well. It's not tied up to only Istio or Kubernetes but it provides a way for people to dynamically update configurations and leverage it as a proxy. And Istio is using Envoy to do its data plane management. We will look at what is data plane in a bit. So Pilot is going to translate whatever Galay configurations are into a readable format which Envoy can understand. And Galay is the configuration manager which will understand what Kubernetes kind of provides. So if let's say you apply a configuration inside your Kubernetes cluster, Galay will then translate that kind of a configuration so that Istio can understand. Now Pilot will take that kind of an understanding and translate it to Envoy based executions. Finally, there is a component called Citadel. Citadel helps in identifying and verifying certificate based authentication and authorizations between the processes and their interactions. Let's say if we want to communicate between different applications, Citadel will help in identifying who has access to what and controlling how applications interact with each other. So these are the three major components of the Istio service mesh. And these components are called as the control plane. If you see any video on Istio or any service mesh, you will be hearing two different terms. One is the control plane and the next is the data plane. So the server side components which Istio owns are called the control plane and data planes are nothing but sidecar containers which are running along with our application. So the control plane can directly interact with the data plane and the data plane acts as a proxy between the application and the control plane. 
Now the whole implementation of Pilot, Galley, Citadel and Envoy is called as Istio Service Mesh. If you need to leverage Istio, you will have to first install Istio in your Kubernetes cluster. When you install Istio, you will be getting Pilot, Galley, Citadel and other components along with it. These are the major components and in addition to that, to enable the Istio Service Mesh to be up and running, you will have to deploy the Envoy sidecars inside your application. Now the next question arises is, how does my traffic come in and go? The traffic directly hits your Envoy proxies using ingress. Generally, when you have load balancers, the load balancers leverage ingress controllers or contour controllers and they allow traffic to your service and from the service, it directly hits your pod. When the request comes to your pod, Envoy will proxy all the requests coming in from the external world before it is being transferred to the application. So every request comes into Envoy and Envoy does all the proxying. It can manage, it can control requests coming into the pod and it just redirects the same request to the application after it has verified everything. Now, if the application needs to connect to another application or another pod within the same cluster, it again comes to Envoy and from again the Envoy, it again interacts with the next Envoy for the destination application. And from there, it just gets routed to the application. And from there, if we need to connect to the external world, again, it goes to the egress route. This is a classic implementation of uh, Istio architecture. If you go to the documentation of Istio, it covers the same. I just had put it in a evolutionary manner, but the architecture is exactly the same. So if you want to communicate between microservices, the Envoy takes care of redirecting traffic within your Istio mesh without even you having to go via the load balancer again hitting an ingress and then again getting your traffic redirected to your servers and then the pod instead you can leverage the envoy proxy which can directly route traffic within the service mesh so the components which you have deployed along with your application is called the data plane the components which are in the server side for istio to manage are called the control plane in the next video we will try to deploy a sample application which Istio has provided here in the example section. If you're already enthusiastic and would like to try Istio, definitely go and try this particular example, the books info application. This is a predefined microservices based application, which you can deploy inside Kubernetes, which is GKE. And also you can have Istio installed and then see how you can leverage different components inside Istio to do different, to implement different capabilities inside the system. I hope you had a fair idea about what is Istio and its architecture. As always, if you like the video, go ahead and like it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to it. Meet you again in the next video. Thank you very much.